Hey, I'm Rona with MobileGeeks.den.com and we're right here at a company called Sawink at the CBIT 2013 and what we're going to tell you right now is not really a new product but a little uh, public service announcement, announcement, let's call it that. Um, this one right here is a 9.7 inch typical Android based iPad wannabe from China and this one is pretty much the same. They're the same base specs, they're both 1 gig of RAM, 4 gigs of flash memory, 1024 by 768, they got a 7800 uh, mAh hour battery in there. Um, but the difference is actually, this one is only like $6 price difference in the production cost or in the, in the sale price that they're selling it to other companies for. And this one has a rock chip dual core 1366, like the old well-known Cortex-A9 based platform running at 1.6 gigahertz and you get a decent performance from this. Um, so the whole thing is actually pretty zippy, there's like good speeds around, all around. Um, but on this thing, it's only like, the manufacturers are actually only saving like three to five dollars, but this one only has a dual core 1.2 gigahertz Cortex-A5, which is a IMAP X820 processor. And this one actually launched only like two months ago or something, but the chips are only like three dollars to five dollars or whatever the price is, but they're way cheap and you actually see that because the performance is really not great. As you can see, the even the menus are struggling to actually keep up, like the animations can't really keep up. So if you're out for a cheap Chinese tablet from whatever importer you get in the US or in Europe, actually make sure that you at least get a rock chip, not the IM, IMAP X820 or other stuff from IMAP, because those are really, really cheap CPUs that are not really made for a mass market or something. They're basically just selling to companies who are faking iPads or stuff. Um, so our recommendation is at least a rock chip or an all winner or whatever, but not IMAP X820 or other IMAP processes. All right, I was rolling with Mobile Geek. See you later.